Okay, before I start today's video, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel. Just join me. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So I recently had a question, in fact a few minutes ago for recording this video, and somebody just said, I've actually given up with Xenia because I couldn't save games. Now I know where you're coming from. Let me show you how you do this. If we just go into Xenia itself, I'm using Xenia Manager. If you don't know what Xenia Manager is, check out my console standalone console playlist. I'll leave the link in the description as well as pin it in the comments so you know what this emulation system is about. So if I start up one of my games just here, I'm going to go for Gears of War 2. And here's the problem, so we can't do any saving unless we have a profile. So let me show you how to do this. If I go up to profile, show profile menu, I'm going to drop down to create profile, gamer tag, I'm going to call this Gears 2, or Gear 2, Gears 2, and I'm going to go to create. And as we can see, we now got user Gears 2 assigned to slot 1. If I just close out of this and press cancel, solo campaign and here we go now right now everything that i'm going to be playing in this game should technically it's save As so if i come back out this time i'm going to do this with perfect dark zero so if i open up the game And as you've seen just there, I can't save on Perfect Dark Zero either. So if I open this one up again, go straight to Profile, show Profile menu, create profile. Let me give this another test. What I'm going to do is create a profile for Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare and I'm going to change some options. So we're going to open this one up. So I'm going to disable aim assist and I'm also going to disable subtitles. I'm also going to adjust the brightness, so the plan of this is, is if we shut this game down and then open it back up and go straight back into the options, those settings should now be saved. And there we go, so everything's been saved as we know just a minute ago, aim assist and subtitles was actually unenabled, I booted it straight up in there, obviously being saved, they're both saying disabled. And that's it for today's Xenia setup guide, so quite a simple one, just remember every time you want to save a game, just make sure that particular game has got a profile, just make note this is Xenia Canary I'm using through the Xenia Manager, like I said at the start of the video, I'll leave the link in my description, so if you're not familiar with Xenia Canary, you can get acquainted with it there, anyways if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content, also join me on social media, I'm on on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.